Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure! Today, I'm going to take the girl to Wendell, as we were told to do. So, wow, these enemies are much easier than the first time I met them. Die, stupid jellyfish. Do I have fire equipped? No, I do not. I need that, because I want to burn those mud men alive! Oh, wait, I already got my revenge on them, didn't I? And my inventory is probably full, still. So let's just head down here. Whoa! There's a lot of lizard men. One hit kills galore. Oh, now we need to switch weapons, because I can't cut through that with my whip. I need the chain sickle for this job. And I'll hold on to this for a little while. Yep, that's not going to do a whole lot to those guys. That's okay. I guess I don't need to kill every single monster on the screen. And now to get across here, we need the chain whip. There we go. That's what you're there for. It's amazing how they did that on a Game Boy when, you know, it wasn't 100% accurate on the Super Nintendo, too. When they used that effect. Okay, move out of the way, Mud Man. And we have new enemies that are harder. A lot harder, apparently. But that's... Whoa! Okay, um... Cure me. There we go. Let's try that one again. wonder what would happen if I tried putting them to sleep so they quit running around. Thank you. You may sleep now. There we go. Yeah, sleep is moderately useful, I guess. It kept them still long enough for, for me to kill them. And here we are. We have made it to Wendell. Yay, a sacred town. Oh, it's that guy again. How'd he get here? Oh, it doesn't matter. He's the one who helped you out. You can thank him. Lady. And there's a dwarf cave to the west that I don't care about. Oh yeah, this just has the same items we've seen before. Get out of my way. I wish I had my sword. Oh, well, I could just whip him out of my way. I guess. Get out of my way! Sibba is a sage who used to be a warrior. Okay. Okay, and there's some stuff that I'm going to want to get here, so I'm going to have to sell my access equipment, take care of that, and be right back. Okay, I took care of everything. The only thing I really needed to buy was the iron armor. It's uh, significantly more powerful than our previous equipment. Sold all my excess items, except for a few keys and matax. We'll mostly be needing the matax, not so much the keys until a little later, but I figured I'd hold on to a few of them at least. Hey, will you still talk to me after whipping you? Mana is supporting nature. That's great. Thanks for the little background information. It's nice to know the people here actually have houses to live in. As opposed to other games where they just have people around and not enough houses for them. You know, I probably should have gone to the end while I was off-screening everything, but oh well. Ten gold a night? Why not? Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, I discovered the how the fast forward feature works on my Game Boy emulator, so. <laughs> and we got a nice little temple here. Well, a big temple, but yeah. Move faster, old man. Seba. How could Bogard have told you about him? He's all the way back at that waterfall. Symbol of mana. Step forward to see what you must see. Let's find out what that means. I love the music for this part. It's... Night. It's a little sad, but it's a little eerie, too. Pretty good for a Game Boy game. 
and it's her mom who apparently helped the Geminites back in the day. Members of the Mana family, Seeds of the Mana Tree, Oh, okay, so that's why Julius is after the girl. So they need the pendant in order to undo the seal on the waterfall so that way they can climb up there and get to the mana tree and I guess they get their power just by touching it. Well, there you go. So what does that mean then? Uh-oh, the Empire is attacking. The Dark Lord must be with them. Well, let's follow up with him and find out... What the... He couldn't have. Whoa, monsters! Stupid rabbits! Let's see, where is he? Is he around? Oh no, he went out this way probably. There we go. Where'd Emma go? What have you done with her? It was Julius all along? Why did you help me before? Well, you couldn't tell by the pendants? Uh, you could run away, Emma, while his back is turned? Whoa! Wow, that's a, almost more powerful than Golbez. Nice little effect there. We'll catch up with him later. Oh well. He has an airship in this game? Well, more Final Fantasy references. And yay, we get another spell, the heal spell, also known as Asuna, that will restore you from just about any status ailment around, so. Fortunately, spells are very cheap in this game, usually costing one or two MP. And all the people are here, still, and they act as if nothing happened. Their village was attacked by monsters, but apparently they don't care. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep the sleep spell on, just in case. Whoa! Yeah, watch out for the chain whip there. It can sometimes draw enemies towards you. Gotcha. Okay, well, the only lead we have is that we gotta go to the west. And there's also a dwarf cave to the west, as we were told, so let's follow up on that. I don't know what these guys are, moblins or something? Who knows? Gold, that can be sold for gold. Whoa! Okay, maybe I don't want to fight that guy. You know, I should probably cure so I don't die again. Uh-oh, I can't get through the trees. Whatever will I do? Let's see if this axe will work. Yay, just like in Mystic Quest, or, well, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. As opposed to Mystic Quest by itself, which is the European name for this game. Yay, we found the Dwarf Cave. Looks like just like the dwarves in Final Fantasy IV. Old mine with watts. And we need to oil it. A uh, trolley for a mine in the north for some reason. Airship is to the west. We need to go through the Gaia Pass in order to get there. Let's look around here. And apparently Watts is in this game too. He's looking for some silver. Why? Huh. The Gaia Pass likes silver. Well, in order to get through the Gaia Pass, we do need silver. We, uh, or silver equipment, rather. And in order to get silver equipment, we need to go through... 
we, well, there's a cave to the north where Watts went, where we can get it. But before I do that, there's a shop down here that I want to take a look at. Yeah, besides, I'm almost out of time. Yay, let's gain one more level. More power. Can never have enough power. And I'll get you guys later. There it is, oil. Okay, so now we have the oil, so we can go to the silver mine and get some silver. So we can go through the Gaia Pass and rescue the girl. So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.